the need for every individual or apartment to be able to afford a solar and inverter system is what is driving this channel and today we are going to be talking about the market value of the five basic items you need to get started in the journey of solar and inverter in the year 2023 so very quickly i'm going to run a review of the prices so just like i said you need five basic items which include you need an inverter you need a battery you need uh, solar panels or solar panel you need a charge controller and you need a cable very quickly i'll be discussing the monetary value of those items in naira and in dollar i'm speaking from nigeria so how we have to deal with both naira and dollar so and uh, if you want to get those items you need to put into consideration the country you the exchange rates of the country you are watching from so the first one is the inverter a 12 volt 1 kva inverter can be purchased at the rate of 68,000 naira in Nigeria or 70 dollars and uh, the second one is a 12 volt 100 amps battery in Nigeria you can get it for 70,000 naira and uh, if you are dealing with dollar you can get it for 72 dollars and uh, the third one is the solar panel I'm going to use a 300 watt solar panel which you can get for 65,000 naira here in Nigeria and uh, if you are buying in dollar you can get it for and the fourth item is the charge controller and uh, a 30 amps charge controller in Nigeria can be gotten can be purchased at the rate of 14,000 naira which is an equivalent of 15 dollars and the fifth one which is the last one is the is a cable and a 4 mm cable in nigeria is 1650 naira per meter and uh, at least you need 10 meters for any installation the least installation you can do you need at least 10 10 meters of a 4 mm cable which is 16,500 naira so in nigeria if you sum that together you will get get a sum of 233,500 naira and uh, its equivalent in dollar is a sum of 241 dollars as we proceed, if you find this information helpful, please subscribe, like, and share. So the first item we shall be reviewing is a 1kVA 12 volt inverter. And here at the front side of the inverter, you can see a power button. And also you can see a display board, which is responsible for viewing the details of the inverter and uh, here if you turn to the back side of the inverter you will see an ac output which you can plug in your extension box or probably you can plug put a plug and the cable of the plug will be directed to the changeover switch of your apartment we also have the we also have three switches at the back of the inverter which is responsible for switching to the type of battery you are using or if probably you want the inverter to be in a UPS mode you can switch it to UPS we also have the positive and negative DC cable DC means direct current so the DC cable is meant to be plugged on your 12 volts battery 
and uh, we also have the fan which is responsible for cooling the system we also have the cut out fuse which is responsible for cutting out any form of power surge on your inverter and uh, the last one here is the power plug where you can plug your inverter to in order to charge back your battery with electricity so the second item to be reviewed is a 12 volts 100 amps battery what i have here is a 100 amps battery and uh, basically every battery have two terminals which is the positive and the negative terminal of the battery that is where you are going to plug the positive cable and the negative cable that is coming from your inverter the third item which i'll be reviewing is a 300 watts solar panel and uh, every solar panel also have two cable plugs or terminals and uh, the solar panel you can see here on your screen is a 300 watt solar panel and uh, it can only be used to charge a 100 amps battery because of the capacity of the battery and uh, in my previous videos on this channel we can see how i have connected multiples of solar panels together so probably you need a professional or you need to go and rewatch my video to do that so the fourth item i will review here is a 12 volts or a 24 volts charge controller and this charge controller here with me is a 30 amps charge controller and here at the front of the side at the front side of the charge controller we can see a display board which is responsible for viewing the details of the the current that is being supplied by the solar panels on the roof and uh, you can also view view the details of the voltage on the battery and uh, here underneath this charge controller we have uh, a six terminal point uh, and the we can see the six points of the terminals and uh, the first two on my left side is the is the terminal where the cable coming from the solar panels will be will be connected and the last two the two terminal points at the middle is responsible for connecting the terminals of the battery and the last two is a 12 volt lighting point which is not necessarily being used in most cases the fifth and the last review for this session is the cable so in selecting your cable you have to take two things into consideration one you have to use a flexible cable uh, to enhance the free flow of a uh, current and also you need also to select the appropriate cable for the type of installation you are trying to do we have types of cable sizes of cable rather we have a 4 mm cable we have 6 mm we have 10 mm 12 mm and, and so on